I feel like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna buy it here. What is up everyone, you Lita Lee, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for returning and watching this video. So for today, we are going to be getting into another Shein haul. Now, this is Shein Activewear, and it's been a hot minute since I've actually tried something with Shein from their activewear line. Um, usually I just get their clothes, but their activewear Iffy. However, I'm like, you know what? It's been a minute. Let me go ahead and try and see how they work. Like, are they any good or not? For just the pieces themselves, I did get two piece sets. I did get some leggings and I also got some tops to go with it. All of them are in a 3X. That's just my size with Shein. I already know that off top just because I've purchased some of their clothing before. So throughout the video, you might see the background change as far as the lighting. That is because it took me so long to film this and stop and try everything on. And then and I got me something to eat and I chilled for a little bit and then I got back to it so don't pay no attention to the background okay <laughs> i know she's chaotic overlook it please all right so we're gonna get into today's video this one i wanted to just try out and see how it wears so this top right here i feel that um it is a bit tight in the arms just for my personal liking i did go ahead and decide to get them long sleeves just because it is cold when i go to the gym in the morning and it gets warmer throughout the day it is one of those cute tops that is kind of deceiving in the front but when you see the back of it, the back looks really, really good. So I do actually have a top from Shein. It does have the cutout exactly like it does in the back. I do like how this one fits. I do like how it looks. It is very breathable in the back. So I do like how it does have the cutout and it does have the crisscross applesauce in the back. The only thing about it is, is the way that this is up here. I don't like how it does show your bra right here. It does fit a bit tight in the arms. It does stop where I need it to, just in case you're really wanting to hide your midsection. It's not bad, hmm, okay. This one came in a two pack. I did get this one in a navy blue and I also got it in black. Now for this one, it does have the thumb holes to go with it. So this is more of a flowy kind of top. It's not really something that's really heavy. Um, it's very breathable when you are wearing it. It does have like the high and the low kind of cut on the side of it. So I really do like that. The cut of the front is, it does have that oval kind of shape in the front. I'm not a big fan of the thumb holes. I'm not gonna be able to pull these up because material of this. Now it does have some stretch in the arms. In here, it doesn't really have that much stretch so you can pull it up. But it is tailored just to keep it down to your wrist and not to kind of push them up. I have a thing for doing that. Sometimes it just gets in the way and I just have to like push them up so I don't ruin the sleeves. All right, so this is another one of the shirts that I got. Now, I wasn't anticipating it honestly being this long, but I mean, hey, it is what it is at this point. So as you can see, it says gems across the front of it. Breathable, it is very light. If you are wanting to kind of hide your midsection, this is the perfect one for you. Now with the back of it, it does have a razor back top, um, but it's just very long, it's very plain Jane in the back. Um, it does cover the butt in the back in case you're wearing something very revealing and you don't really want to show that much. Um, this one's really thin, like see-through thin, like paper thin, like thinny thin thin. Let's try it on. Ooh. What is, what is this look, y'all? Oh. Thorough! Summer 2024, we're gonna have a back towel. Definitely a summer shirt. This one's very deceiving. Here's why. You see the front. The front is like business casual. Um, but the back, but the back, <laughs> two in the morning. Very razor back. Very much so thin. Um, it does have a holes in the front, so it is very breathable. The back is sitting right on the shelf. Oh, the back is sitting on the shelf, honey. I like this. It stops like right where my shorts are. She's a keeper. She's gonna go to the keep pile. She's going to the keep pile. Mm -hmm. I feel like I work in a construction site. I'm just saying. This is very bold, very colorful. If you want to be noticing this, 
this is a shirt for you. Especially if you're running like on the side of the road in the morning or if you're walking or if you're just getting your exercise in, in the morning. Especially if it's like dark. It is very flowy and it does have some give. But it does have the keyhole like in the middle of the shirt in the back. And it's not something that is just going to be like plain Jane all the way around. This one is very long. It does have a high little cut on the sides as you can see. It does have a mesh on the sides as well. It does cover the midsection and the fupa. Like in the arms, it is very forgiving. It's not very tight in the arms. The arms are very loose and they do come down to almost my wrist. The back does have mesh. And it reminds me kind of like a checkerboard, but I do think they put that there just so that it is breathable because the long sleeves of the shirt. I do want to be comfortable when I'm working out and when I'm walking, and I think this is one of those shirts. Okay, so did get a crop top, and she's cute, right? <laughs> it's cute, she's cute. This one, it does have elastic at the bottom so whenever you do put it on it is going to hug you at the very bottom of it so it doesn't move as much i would think that would be the purpose of it it doesn't have any padding or anything it looks short but when you get it it's real short i mean it is a crop top right just in my experience with Shein, i've noticed that the elastic in the bottoms twist so i hopefully pray that this is not the case for this because if it does, it's gonna be noticeable. It does have a cutout in the very top part of the back where your where your bra would sit if you were wearing a razor bag like mine. This is true to size. Um, it's not really that tight in the arms. It does fit like it's supposed to. It does fit like a glove. I wish, just for like an added touch, that they added a thumb hole to it. I feel like that would fire. Let's move on to the next one. Hmm, I don't know how to feel about this one. This comes in a three pack. So it does have it in this color black, it does have it in white, and it also has it in gray. It's longer in the front than it is in the back. And I thought I had it on wrong, but there's no other way to put this on. <laughs> it is very forgiving, it is very stretchy in the front. It does have this gray design on the side of it, and it, I think they do have it on the sides of the other ones. It's a normal razor back shirt, the length of it, is really good for the front. I feel like also just the cut of it as well is really good. Something that I would definitely wear in the summertime, definitely put on in the morning time too. If I wanted to wear a jacket, I could do that too. Just, just layer up. I don't have any complaints with this one. Okay, y'all. So this one, I think that for me, I have to pull these up just a little bit high, just for my comfort. So they fit really, really good on. Do have these whole details that just show off the side of your leg. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so it goes over there. So that's where the detail is when it comes to these leggings, and I like that. I do like how they fit me. I like how they're on. But I don't feel that these are really good when it comes to like a running workout or something that I'm gonna be active in. Now, I've had it where some leggings, when you start moving around in them, they kind of slip down. Now, for the booty, don't feel that there's enough coverage, especially if you got a dumb truck in the back. If you have a dumpy, then these are, are out. Do you have this detail, like when it comes to here? Now, when it comes to squatting in these, the squat at your own risk. I don't like a slouchy crotch i like them to fit now i know how that sounds because if they're fitted in here and they're tight then that can lead to other problems but for these leggings i have to pull them up just look really high in order for them to to fit really good on but i think that they're just going to be one of those that's not going to be really comfortable when it comes down to wearing look at these these look really good on but I do think that for the thick thigh girls that just between like the inside of it, I think it's gonna be no time before it does start to get the, the material, the, the chafing of the material rubbed together and you start to see the wear and tear on the inside of it. Based on my experience, that's how I feel with these legs. So for me personally, I do like the touch because it starts up here and it just runs down the leg itself. I think that these fit really, really good on. They are way different from the first pair of leggings just because of how they fit. And they fit a lot better. They have a lot more stretch in them, especially right here, and even with the back of it. Um, they do have the scrunch booty part. 
so you will see that detail these leggings stand out and bonus they do stop at my ankle. i think these be bomb.com in black all right you guys so i got these and i really think that these are not for me i don't too much care for them i don't like how they fit don't like that they are stopping at my shins however i do like the design of them just on the side of them they do have this mesh part and they also have the mesh part um at the very bottom of the leg here but i feel like these are going to be one of those that's just going to like drop down when i first start getting my <laughs> my eagle on but neither here nor there if you know you know they will start to like droop down once i do start to work out and whatnot i do have these uh pulled up they are high-waisted but i'm just not a fan of them what check these out they're very easy to put on i do like how they fit they are very stretchy when you do wear them especially in the back part side design listen if you're not okay with wearing these i understand little bit of cheek too you know like side cheek so it's up to you cheeky leggings i like them this one just wraps around the leg and it stops like right at the calf muscle well i would consider these something for athleisure you can like walk in these run in these you can do pretty much whatever you want to in them they're very very comfortable in the back they do have enough coverage they don't stop short just because you do have a little bit extra back there so there aren't like bits and pieces when it comes to this legging that it's just kind of like a little playful in a way the way that they cut it they do go all the way down to my ankle which i really like and i do like to wear mine high waisted see how far these go up and they are still at my ankle they don't give me the droopy crotch that is pretty much these leggings all right you guys so these leggings are next and i will say that i'm not a fan of them these leggings are much tighter fit I did show just a little bit getting these on. They do have the crisscross wrap as far as how they are made in the front. I like how they look on. I don't like how they actually fit. Not really that comfortable for me just because this right here, I know it's gonna be slide down, rolling down the entire time. The design of them are okay. Not something that would make or break for me. You know, it's just like, okay, they're here. They do stop at the ankle. I don't feel like these are something that I would wear. They don't do it for me, so. Okay, I like how these shorts look. They do have like a tight band, like right here, right at the bottom of the shorts, just for them to like stay in place. Now it's not like a gripper or anything. It's just the band itself that's like a little bit tighter. Now the butt part of them, they do have the butt lifter quote unquote butt lifter but it's just like a print here they do have the cinched in booty so that when you do wear them they do kind of like show off the glutes and whatnot they're good shorts i would definitely spot on these i think these are like spot proof just because of the material of them they are like really stretchy okay listen i thought that i the top gun but i'm like wait a minute it came through wrong because the pads are right here and the opening to the pads are right here so it fits outward like this like you can't bring this in because it'll bunch up right here so it's meant to fit outward it's off just a little bit maybe maybe it's supposed to be like off the shoulder or something no because it bunches up right here y'all i just had to look this up just to see if it fit right it is a bit more coverage up here than it is in the back this up here just fits yeah, it's, it's enough for me. For the cups themselves, um, if you want to take these out, definitely take these out because they're gonna be shifting, they're gonna be moving. I have to adjust these to fit me. I wish that the top just fit better because these leggings, honey, are it. They're it. Just wearing these, I would definitely wear these. On my day to day, if I'm running errands, get my fanny pack, get a cute shirt, and I'm good to go. They do have a print that goes along with the bra. So it does start at the hip and it spirals all the way down the leg. They do have a little cinch booty in the back, but it's not really prominent unless you make it that way. You know what I'm saying? They do have a little bit of ribs in, in both sets. So this is ribbed um, in the top portion of the leggings, as well as throughout the leggings, they have like little ribbed patterns. The top itself, you can wear this just by itself, or if you're not really comfortable doing that, you can definitely go and get a shirt. Okay, y'all, so this one right here is actually a three-piece set. 
And I just want to show you the two pieces first and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the jacket. So with the bra itself, it does fit. Like I'm a 42D. I still have room in this. This has padding in it. It's just one thing in my mind, like I would need to be careful when washing this. But the leggings, these I feel are see-through. These are not squat proof. Don't squat at these, okay? They are very thin. Like I can see my hand through these leggings. If you were to get in a bright sun, your cheeks are gonna be on display. 4K, <laughs> 8K. <laughs> the top of these leggings are made with the band that I was telling y'all about earlier. The band that usually is in the shorts. Sometimes this band, it likes to roll and it's like impossible to get it unrolled, to get it even throughout. It's impossible. Three pairs of shorts right now that are rolled that I got from Shein in a three pack. Um, I just feel that these are cheaply made. I mean, you get what you pay for. You already know, you already know. But let's just try on the day. Let me show that back, hold on, let me show that back. You see the Razorback bra? Oof, I love it. It fits really good and it does compensate for the bra bulge on the side. Just looking at the material on this bra. But, I mean, you get what you pay for. So, let's go ahead and try the jacket. Okay, she's snug in here. Yep. But yeah, I just feel like this is really cheaply made. This thing is thin to some holes, but it just, it's not working for me because it's pulling on the, the fabric itself. The measurements are off for me. I probably won't even be using this just because it just feels better to wear it. It's pulling at this right here. If you can't make do with buying quality workout clothing, then I understand getting this and purchasing this because I look like a marshmallow in this. Like a burnt marshmallow. What is this? This thing is so tight. <laughs> this is impossible to put on. But I put this on so y'all would know how this fits. Size up. Size up in this two piece because it doesn't fit me well. The sizing of it's off. The leggings of it is off. Just this, it's just tight. It's just not comfortable. It's very tight on my arms. It does have thumb holes, but the thumb holes are off because of how they stitched it. It's just tight right in the thumb part. Like you can barely make the hole of it. Let me show you the back, y'all. I have to, I have to go. The back of it part for the butt to, to fit and the proportions of it would need to come up, but they can't come up anymore because they're as high as they can go. I feel like I'm just gonna on the back here. Does it look good? Yes. Does it feel good? No. <laughs> this thing is heavy duty. All right, you guys, that is the end of today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Yeah, let me know down in the comment section which was your favorite. Um, some of these were hits and some of them were misses. And um, as always, if you did like this video, go ahead and thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this as far as try-on hauls for plus-size try-on hauls, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.